For more than 20 years, gamers have been locked in a heated debate over which is better, Aladdin on the Genesis or Aladdin on the Super NES. We're not gonna bother getting to the middle of that never-ending fight and instead focus on a more pressing question. Which of these two games had a better ending? Now is the time to look away if you don't want to find out what happens next, because today we're gonna spoil the ending of Aladdin. Both Aladdins. This is 23 Endings, The Early Years. You know the story, boy meets girl, girl falls for boy, girl gets locked up and forced to marry a much older man, and boy ends up having his greatest wishes come true when he discovers a magical lamp with a genie inside. This is not only the familiar setup to the 1992 Disney movie, but also the Genesis and Super NES adaptations. You play Aladdin as he races through the kingdom, doing everything in his power to save the Princess Jasmine from the evil Jafar. Let's start with the Genesis version. We see our titular hero fight it out in Agrabah, search the Sultan's dungeon, escape from the fiery caves, and then make it back to Jafar's palace. And it all ends with an epic fight against a giant fire-breathing snake. Here's how that goes. The Super NES version goes through all the same beats. There's Agrabah, the Sultan's Dungeon, and a daring escape from the fiery caves. It also has a fun genie stage and a pyramid level. And, of course, it ends with an epic showdown with the giant snake. Here's what happens next.
Say what you will about the gameplay, I think it's safe to say the Super NES version of Aladdin had a much better ending. It's longer, has an emotional punch, and even uses the Mode 7 effects in a unique way. By comparison, there's very little story to the Genesis game, and the cinema only works if you've actually seen the film. It's one of the few negatives about an otherwise stellar action game. Hey, thanks for watching a brand new episode of 23 Endings, The Early Years. So here's the question of the day. What's your favorite game based on a Disney movie or a TV show? I hate to be predictable here, but I think I'd probably go with DuckTales on the NES. I think it's the one that impacted me the most, but I'm curious to hear your thoughts, so leave a comment below. In other news, we have a review of Black Mirror going up tomorrow morning, as well as another episode of 23 Endings. Are we bad enough dudes to save the president? Click the subscribe button to find out. Until then.